What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'll be showing you how to make a brand new fly screen from scratch, making this at home. Alright guys, so the things you'll need, fiberglass mesh for your fly screen, hacksaw, a little miter box, you can use a regular miter box if you haven't got a mini one, framing corners, you've got your spline, this is a 5mm rubber spline, pencil, tape measure, you've got your spline roller, screwdriver, utility knife and your aluminium framing. This aluminium framing is four fly screens. It's got a recessed area here that the uh, spline will simply clip in like that and it'll hold your fly screen in place. Let's get started. Okay, so with the framing, they come in 2.5 meter lengths, so we need to cut them to size. First things first, we need to always make sure that on the framing, this little recessed area goes on the inside of the frame. So we need to make sure that we cut it like this first, having this being the smaller side and the outside of the frame being the longer side. So we need to always cut that excess off. Simply cut straight through. Okay, so now we're ready to take our measurements. Our height is 895 in millimeters. So mark it, hold the tape up the top from the long side, pull it down. It'll be tricky. Okay, we want to mark it right there. So 895, putting the marking on the outside, remembering that this is going to be the inside of the frame, so we'll be cutting it on an angle like this. 45 degree angle, let's cut this one up. All right, remembering this side here is the long side, so you want to make sure that you've got your line right up against there, and this is the side that we'll be keeping. So cut that one through. Once again, if you can't go all the way through, simply bend it and that'll snap off. You can use a file to clean up any of the sharp edges and that's ready to go. So we'll cut another piece exactly the same as this one. Okay, so once they're both cut, you've got two pieces, now both the same size, 895. Now it's time to cut the width of it, which is at 275. Remembering that with your off cuts, you're always going to have the cut going the wrong way, so we need to always fix that up before we can measure off. So remembering just to cut that little excess trim off, keep it as short as possible. Okay, same as before, this time we're doing 275, so starting from the high side up once again, so 275, give it a little mark down the bottom, okay, double check it, always check twice, cut once, 275, that's where we will be cutting. Can't stress this enough, make sure that your cut is always having the lip on the short side, so making sure this section here where the spline rolls into is always the short side. So mark it up and cut that section off. And that's our width, two of these. Once you've got your two heights and widths all cut up, it's time to put it together using your framing corners. Okay, you can get these in plastic and in metal. I prefer the plastic ones, they were out of stock at the time. And they simply slot into each side, just like that. You can use a rubber hammer to give that a hit down if you can't get it with your fingers. Wiggle them through. And once it's complete, it'll look like this. Okay, next thing you want to do, get your fly screen, lay it over the top. Okay, and you want to simply cut off whatever sizes you need. Once 
play it over the top and it's time for your spline. Spline sits first in the corner, press it in with your fingers using a screwdriver, press that corner in then it's time to use your roller and simply roll that through once it comes to the corner you simply put a bit of pressure on it wedge it into the corner just like that once again screwdriver making sure that's all in nice and place once again roller roll it all the way across don't worry about the tension we just need to get all the way through first Again down the bottom, screwdriver. Now at this point you want to have a little bit of tension on it, simply pulling that into place like that. Roll it through once again, turn it around, and we do the same on the corner again. This time putting a bit of tension on that corner. Now for the last bit, while you're rolling it, simply put a, bit, put a bit of tension on it as you go, just like that. That'll help get it all nice and straight. Once you get to the edge, Cut a piece off, being careful not to cut the fly screen, and you simply roll that corner in. Checking it again, screwdriver, making sure all these ends are nice and tight. Now it's time to cut this trim off. Starting in one corner, cut it up put a little bit of tension on it and cut all the way around in line with the framing and also the spline so turn that around And there you have it, brand new fly screen, ready to go. Hope you enjoyed the videos guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If there's anything else you'd like to learn how to do, don't forget to put it in the comment section below and I'd be happy to show you guys how to do that. Thanks for watching.